Cheers! Welcome, Welcome to, to Movie, Movie Bitches. Bitches! RuPaul's Drag Race, All Stars 8, Episode 12. <laughs> The grand finale. We did it, Joe. We did it, Joe. <laughs> so I've got to ask you. Sorry, miss. <laughs> um, we made it to the finish line. Oh my gosh. As someone on Twitter said, this season could have been an email. I mean, it's just true. It was so telegraphed from episode one. Oh, Jimbo's subject, gonna win? Subject heading. RuPaul's Drag Race premieres and crowns Jimbo. Bro. Great. Spo spoiler. Alert. Right, spoil, spoiler alert. But first things first. Yes, shout out to our Patreon supporters. Yeah. $5 a month gets you ad-free early access. $10 gets you access to our viewing parties. She's the artist of the two. Her performance is <laughs> She won four <laughs> So thank you guys for your support and for sticking through. I mean, I guess you kind of made us watch the rest of the season, but I, yeah, I'm glad we did. There were yeah. things here and there. I had fun. Yes. And also I'm glad it's over. Can both be true. Really, if it was just 50% shorter, I would have been happy. Even just episodes. Exactly. Trim them Everyone could have just been... 44 minutes. Yep. Yeah, perfect. Great. But second thing second. Make sure to subscribe, click that button, click the bell so that you know we're going to do a season five coming up after summer camp. Lots of really fun, exciting things planned that we had planned before we decided to do All Stars. So everything's a, a bit behind, but uh, we've got a lot of content coming up. Or is it exactly up. on schedule? So make sure you subscribe, share, oh, tell everybody, hey, they just did All Stars, but now they're gonna do season five, or they're doing weird movies from the 90s that Avril loved and no one else has ever heard of. Great. That she is forcing Andrew to watch, and he is loving. I mean, I honestly have had fun <laughs> in pretty much every single one. So, you guys are welcome. Make sure to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. We really, we had a, a, a hit tweet on TikTok. Um, a tweet? No, a but- hit talk. The, no, no one says that. It's a hit tweet. That's just the thing. You know, it, it can... I like a hit talk. A hit talk. We we ticked the talk. Uh, but so we got a bunch of new followers. So thank you guys. Make sure to go check it out. They're fun little clips. There's a special one from last week that YouTube would not, let, would not let us put up. So very fun stuff. So the episode begins. Everybody walks into the workroom. Woohoo! Top two queens of the fame game. We did it. Look at us. Yeah. James is really excited to have won a Maxi Challenge. I'm excited. Yes. And, um... You know, I don't yeah. know if, um... I mean, you did good, but I don't think that I... You really deserved it. Girl, Who why? Why bring this up now? No. No tea, no shade. Um... Okay. <laughs> That's just my opinion. Shh, Nisha, no. Just let you know, it go. Drag is everything. He's subjective. Yeah, like it's not just beauty. It's not just dance. It, it is comedy too. Beauty, looks, dancing, and, and comedy. comedy too. Yeah. Wow. Two <laughs> scalding hot reads in this episode. Oh yeah. Uh, but I do want to talk about. Okay. Jimbo and James uh, motorboating Lala. Yes. Ah, Very that was, silly. That was um. I liked it. It, it was, was fun. A, it was a fun, silly time. And then we had a little ass shake off, a, a twerk off, I guess. A twerk off, and uh, and then Jimbo creams herself. Yep. I'll get you a towel, babe. Yeah, literally, yes. Don't flag me. That happened. That is a fact. <laughs> silly fun. Silly, yes. silly fun. I liked it. Uh, then Rue comes in and uh, announces that, uh, again, someone will win the fame games and they will win $60,000. I'm like, yes, we fucking know. <laughs> there was Jesus so much. H Christ. <laughs> What's the H for? Hell. Jesus Hell Christ? Yeah. Hellraiser? Hellfire. Helena. <laughs> Jesus Helena Christ. It does, it does flow better. Hillary? Jesus, Hillary Christ. Huckleberry. <laughs> I, like, I like that one. Halifax. <laughs> Great. Great. Um, uh, yeah. What is this? Categories? <laughs> uh, yes, uh, Rue comes in to oh, right. announce 
The, no, the fame game is the fame, and also oh, that the um, maxi challenge that is the fame game winner will win mm -hmm. sixty thousand um, dollars. Wait, sixty? And that there's two people still in the running. Yes. To win the crown. Wait, this is the first time there's a top two ever. As everybody knows, this season there are two ways to win. The fans have voted. One of our fame game queens will win the title. Queen of the Fame Game, plus a cash prize of $60,000. Queen of the Fame Game. Oh my God, Rise, someone's gonna get crowned tonight, Queen of the Fame Game. Hey, $60,000 hairs for the Queen of the Fame Game. Later tonight, we'll be announcing who the fans have voted to be Queen of the Fame Game. It's time to find out who the fans have voted to be crowned Queen of of the fame games, $60,000. So the maxi challenge is per usual, or I guess the new usual. That's usual, or for the first time. Well, this did seem In to be- In coordination with them? Sort of a first. No, because we had this last season. Well, well the, but the, they the, wrote their own, or were involved. With, right, you don't think they were involved with this, this year? It, it seems like Jimbo was Rue like, oh, said, I came up with an idea about no. being born naked. You know, I Rue remember- said, a song that's been written for you. Original solo numbers written just for you. Oh my God. By the super talented Leland. I assumed it was the same thing as like the I mm, hate people of it all. I don't think so. I don't think so, because both of these didn't have enough personality. They were both um, like an AI wrote it for them. Honestly, yes. It was very that. It was like we fed in like all of their almost, performances. It was almost a good song. Yeah. It was almost, almost like there was had a, a personality. personality. You're right. Wow. So I, I don't know. You know what's annoying? Yeah. I mean, obviously the AI of it all, I'm like, is this, is it not, right? But the fact that now everything that seems just kind of shitty, you're like, yeah. was that AI? Or a lazy person. Right, did you phone it in? Or did you phone it in and have a computer do did it? Did you phone it in? Right, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Anyway, uh, you know, not to be shady to Leland, I don't know, we oh. didn't see what went on. No. But neither song seemed no. to have much personality. No, I agree. It was a little bit of personality, yeah. slightly tailored to that person. Yeah. Yeah. The choreography, in theory, in theory more in, than in, in practice. Rehearsal. Yeah, in rehearsal, I was like, oh, look, he had all of this thought process behind what he gave each queen of like, oh, and then this is, you're a comedy, you're telling a story, you're doing this. And then the Great. choreography for the um, backup dancer queens was walk on stage, stand in place. That was garbage mama wow like we'll get there mama this is garbage oh. right here. they have a tic tac lunch podcast with rue and michelle yes we talked through all of it uh mostly i was distracted by rue's ill-fitting puckering suit, suit. Puckering. I, didn't, I can't believe she let this happen i don't know what, how no one on set was like um can we just cut and and fix rue's suit please just unbutton it yeah problem solved exactly maybe they hate her when the wigs and the makeup and the costumes start to look off, yep. you have to start asking those questions. Well, and the wigs and the makeup we know is just Raven. It's just, well, and... and well, and Delta? Delta, I think, does her does hair. Does the hair, or, the wigs. Or did at yeah, some point. Yeah, at I don't some know. point. Yeah, 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 until yeah. she got burned, I think. She didn't get the Emmy. Um, whereas Raven did get the Emmy. So it. she's still around. I think Delta might have left. I don't remember. Either way, that's when you have to start asking the questions. Yeah. Why did no one say, Rue... Sit up straight. Your suit is puckering. I think it was just too tight. Well, it was too tight and sitting, right? But right. also it was, if you're here versus here, Yeah. you know, suck it in, Rue. It's five minutes of she traumatic life talk. She had too many tic-tacs. You know, I guess too many. She, she had too many tic-tacs. I don't know why They're she's full still making those jokes. Like, girl. Was your life traumatic? <laughs> So anyway, that was the Tic Tac lunch, uh, you know, uh, and, and we can move on. Yeah. And then meanwhile, uh -huh. uh, the rest of the queens are reaching their hands into a yeah. pink furry Kleenex box. This was fun. I would have liked it interspersed a little bit more with like, is she pretty? In her own unique way, so no. 
Well, there was no, it wasn't shady. It was not shady. But it that's was okay. It was just a fun little kiki moment, which was nice, especially that they gave them free shit and well, money. Well, I did love that they were just like, and you get a prize, and yeah. you get a prize, yeah. and you get a prize. You get $2,000. Here. Great. Here, you get $1,000. Yeah. You get, everyone gets $500. Yes. Everyone gets a trip. Exactly. Da, 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 I da, love da, da. it. At this point, Jessica's probably up to... 39,000? At least. Yeah, so good for her. This is Kasha Davis is the first one yeah. to get, you know, oh, you, if you pick this card, you win $1,000 and you get to choose another queen to win $1,000 too. Remember I sent you home. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> Remember I kicked you off. Right. <laughs> Don't forget. <laughs> I was the one who sent you home. Love Jessica. Really love her. So yes, give these queens money. Pay them yeah. what they deserve. Yeah. And then everyone's getting ready. Candy did seem more kind of relaxed. Like the, the gaming is over, you know, like she, yes. all she can do is compete. Yes. Like, you know, she she's, there's no mind games happening. No. So she was having a silly fun time, it pretending like to cry. My chat with RuPaul was amazing. Oh. Yeah. And then everyone, you know, says, oh, I love you. I love you. It was great. Yeah, and it was a nice out. little camaraderie. And yeah. oh, I'm so happy I was in this group and la la la. And it was la la re. La, and la. you know, it was, it was, it was nice. Yeah. So quick commercial break and we'll be back with uh, the performances. <laughs> Rue walks down the runway in this bejeweled Candy Crush yeah. mini yes. skirt. It was the exact shortness it could be. Absolutely. Any less than you would see her candy. It was crush. like perfection. Her jewel. Her, her, her jewel, crown jewels. Her crown jewels. There we go. That's the better form of that joke. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we got there in yeah. the end. Yes, and she performs ASMR Lover. ASMR lover, which was kind of a bop. It was kind of a bop. I just, I felt like maybe the idea of having someone I mean, it's soft-spoken in a, a confused, song. I think that idea would work better in a piece. Mm. This piece is entitled The Same Parts. This piece. And less in like a song. Mm -hmm. And the actual lyrics made no sense. Mm. Um, either you are a lover of ASMR. Mm -hmm. ASMR. The person she's singing to. Right. Oh, I just love ASMR. Oh, you're an ASMR lover. Or you're a very quiet lover. Maybe. Maybe it's like old timey, right? Ooh, a, a lover should be silent and seen, not heard. Is that an old timey thing? Well, that was like the patriarchy, right? Women should be seen, not heard. I don't know if that was in a, exclusively a lover status, but sure. Well, wives, I think, was, <laughs> sure, you know. Sure, 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 sure. What's that Marilyn Monroe song? Doesn't look very strong, but when you sit on his knee. He seems like he's a real shy guy, but when you get him in that armchair or when you get him in the back of the limo, he'll fuck you good. Oh, I don't know that one. It's good. Okay. I'll play it here. But in a Morris chair, you'd be surprised. You'd be surprised. Oh. This one's a real danger. Surprise, surprise. Surprise, surprise. That's a big surprise, surprise, surprise. Yeah, that, this maybe would have worked better in a kind of a sultry, like, oh, sure. you'd be surprised by this ASMR, ASMR. lover, you know? Yeah. Or, because it does give you that kind of like, Ooh. Ooh, you know, Mufasa yeah. sensation. I just hear that name and I shut up. Mufasa. Ooh. Do it again. Mufasa. Ooh. Mufasa. Ooh. Mufasa. Mufasa. Ooh, it tingles me. It was almost there. I was like, you know what? Rue yeah. performed, got in drag. Yep. Sexy dancers mostly with body rolls. Moved, Terrible shorts. Mostly moved her body and people danced yeah. in front of her. Yeah. And I was like, good for you, Rue. Good for you, Rue. Doing more than Mariah Carey. Certainly doing more than Adele Dazeem, I'll tell you that. Did you go see her? Uh, yeah, she performed at Pride. Well, I can't really say that she performed at Pride. She held a microphone out for the audience to sing at Pride. You know, she's sick of singing that fucking Frozen song. I she would be too. She sang it while she didn't sing it. That That's was, what I'm saying. Yeah. I'd be fucking sick of singing that fucking song too. Well, then don't put it in the set. But then people would be like, her? why didn't you put that have in the fucking Frozen song? Have you seen her horrible TikToks oh, no. of her new song? Like, she's trying oh, to have no. her own songs now. Okay. And so she, like, released these TikTok videos of her lip syncing to her own song. And her lip sync is awful oh no and it's like girl oh no you sang the song don't you know how you did it like it was like she didn't know how people sing it's mind-boggling awful production so she didn't have a hit talk no she did not have a, a, a ticked talk no a 
TikTok. I like it. I mean, she did also, for all of the wrong reasons. You, is it live? Like, you could do multiple takes. You can edit it. You can make no, yourself look better. Someone so. allowed her to post this to the internet, and those gays should be fired. I got a beast inside, and I'm waking it up. Got a beast inside, and I'm waking it up. They weren't gay. That's the problem. Oh. I'm assuming. Look at me. Come on now. Come on now. Look at me. I'm a beast, baby. I mean, this is also formatted weird. Yeah. TikTok lunches back to back. Three performances back to back. You know, I don't know. I feel like they could figure out a way to edit this in a way that would be more engaging. Well, you know what's nice about the live finales mm. is that the stage production of it all creates a timeline yeah. for a show. Yeah. It's a it's a show. It is both for a live audience of people yeah. as well as the television viewing audience. Yeah. But so you create something that makes sense. This is just hodgepodge, this right? This felt like going through the motions. Oh uh, yeah, very much. Next out, Jimbo yeah. gets to do her performance to I Remember Being Born. Yeah. And she's got this dead mouse, Mickey Mouse, BDSM mm -hmm. uh, outfit on. Yeah, which we've seen in her merch. In so her I merch assume and, she's, I think uh, someone commented that she wore this. It was her walk-in look on Canada. Canada. You know, this had a kind of a Rocky Horror, Phantom of the Paradise vibe but not quite but not quite you know and it was pretty kind of funny and entertaining but not quite and i was still lying flat on the floor oh i remember being born you know what i mean it was like almost there almost there i didn't like this and yeah. i didn't like candies i didn't like either of them i was like these are both pretty blah i began to develop some pretty strong opinions i don't think it was their fault oh no i mean they didn't seem to be involved right it's what I'm it saying. It was like they had to do it, so they did it. But it just didn't feel like it ever really came together. It wasn't bad. No. It just wasn't particularly en engaging. engaging or something. I did really enjoy the edit of I was destined for more. Oh, I remember. Jimbo and and we're gonna go to the ground. Cut to cut away, cut away. <laughs> and she's on the ground. She's on the ground. Oh, help me get up. And they showed it twice. It was such an obvious edit of like, oh no! I was destined for more, oh, I remember. Like she never got it in that take. No. Like they did multiple takes and she had to sit down and they started yeah. on the floor. Yeah. That happened. Well, that was the other weird thing too, is that like they clearly filmed this on a different soundstage or a different part of the stage or, yeah, or yeah. something. It was in a and, huge cavernous right, soundstage. And yeah. put it together in post essentially. Yeah. So then why not do more of a production? Right. You could do anything then. Yeah. If it's not uh, live on the stage in front of the well, judges, then why not do- I was so excited do... for, you know, Jimbo, the artist. She's the artist of the two. Fuck my drag, right? Yeah to, um, she should change her name. Jimbo, Jimbo the, the artist. artist. <laughs> the artist formerly known as Jimbo? Yeah, I love it. I wanted to see what she would have done if she had been let run wild with her creativity to yes. do this or do that like Willow Pill yeah. was allowed yeah. to do. Okay, I'm gonna write this song, I'm gonna produce this, I'm gonna, you yeah, know. They did really seem to have a lot more to do in that. Yes! Yeah. This was, we gave you this song. Right, now. That's sort of in your wheelhouse. Go. Here's five dancers perform it on a black stage. Yeah. Not even like, put a green screen or put like screens behind them projecting anything. stuff. Anything. Anything. Uh, but she had sexy uh, doctors, sexy shirtless doctors. Right. They, Holding they... corn cob dicks. I don't remember eating corn, but I remember being born. Okay. Okay. I don't. But they didn't even make that a moment. No. I was busy going, is that a banana? Because she took a banana out of her tailpipe? No, that would have required Jimbo to be involved with this. Oh, it's a piece of corn? Wait, I thought the lyric said, I remember being born, but I don't remember being born. Did Monica Beverly Hills write this? I didn't come here to slay. I came here to slay. I didn't come here to slay. I came, I came here to, to slay. slay. And then, and then I got the joke. You know, they didn't give her, it wasn't like a theatrical performance right. of, I don't remember eating corn. No, yeah. You know, yeah. but I remember being, bar, you know, something. Right. What? It's just a pineapple cone. But that edit really. <laughs> oh my God. She's on the ground. <laughs> just really got me. So then next, Candy Muse uh, performing Pay Me With Money. Uh, well, 
I don't know. Lip syncing to someone else singing Pay Me With Money. So this was strange because Jimbo clearly sang her song. Sang her song. Candy clearly did not. No, clearly did not. I don't care. For the second time in a row now. For the too, second right? time in a row. Yeah. I don't care, but why? Why? What were those choices? I don't know. You know, could Jimbo have opted out and said, no, um, can have... you have Tim Curry come in and sing this? <gasps> Oh my god, I mean he would have enunciated oh. the shit out of corn. Sure. And it would have been fantastic. Would it be laden with anticipation? Airfare included. <laughs> with anticipation. Airfare included. <laughs> Great. Okay, good. Uh, yeah. This in concept was fun, but I think honestly my complaint with this was that the person singing didn't have much tood. Bitch, pay me in money. No, so this song is written for candy. Right. Pay me in money. Right. Give Don't me pay me with compliments. I can't spend those. Yeah. Pay me with money. I but like that was more it had more attitude tood than was in and the song. Candy's personality is, was absent from the yeah, song. Her yeah. personality was in the dancing and in the tune she was giving with yeah. her body. Yeah. But the lip sync, she couldn't add two to it because no. she didn't Sing record it. it. Right. That was very strange. Very strange. And it seems like maybe she's not a great singer because it's the second time now that she maybe. hasn't had a song that is her own. But I don't remember the singing challenge. Is she it? sang Wire Hangers and everyone was impressed. That, well... I mean, no they, more wire hangers. I mean, I'm just saying they said that they were impressed. Just, sure. That's what they said. And it was auto tune. No, no. So yeah. maybe she can't. You're doing something that we didn't expect Candy Muse to kill. No more wire hangers! Anyway, whatever, but it was a strange uh, series of decisions that were yes. made. So then the rest of the cast comes on in these uh, hideous sequin choir robes, and it just looks so cheap and shitty. Like, where was the production value? No one spent any money on this? Well, and they're in choir robes and they're drag queens. And the fact that they did not reveal anything under them was a travesty. Yeah. What you the know? fuck? Yeah. Come on. Have them in something. <laughs> What's the point? What was the song? We're all winners or something like that. It was just, I'm a winner, baby. I'm a winner, baby. But it, like, in, um. I'm a winner. But it was like gospel. I like that I went to, I'm a loser, baby, but I'm a winner, baby. I'm a winner, baby. So why baby. don't you love me? So why, <laughs> why don't you crown me? me? There you go. Yeah. Anyway, I guess quick commercial break yeah. again, and we'll be back with the runway. <laughs> so category is finale fantasy. Nope. Great. <laughs> You're close. It's also an alliteration. Finale fantasia. Ooh, 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 I like that. Wizard hat. Yeah. yeah, dancing hippos and all the. Oh, <laughs> ooh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Uh, no. Fabulosity. Yeah. Yeah. Burst out. <laughs> Monica Beverly Hills in this purple number, violet, uh, bluish. What would you call it? It was purple. Purple. And this purple hair. I thought this was gorgeous. I just didn't like the blue wig. The purple wig. And this purple hair. Was it purple? It looked like plastic blue to me. And this purple hair. It was, um... That's we, why I, I you know second guessed, because I was like, it was... It was wiggy. It was wiggy and it was tight. Uh, but I didn't hate it, but it was wiggy. But the the huge ruffled boa and the slinky dress and the... Yeah. Wah, 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 and the tude and I was into it. Yeah, and the face. Like, everything was working. I just didn't like this. It looked a little helmety. Next out, Nisha Lopez, looking gorgeous yeah. in this ice pink, ice blue, silvery, big tapestry coat. Yeah. Opera coat. Yeah. Uh, then with the slinky body cutout con, the whole palette really worked. Like the yeah. wig with the makeup with the yep. different combinations of icy colors. I she was like, gorgeous. Yes. Yeah. Is a yes. Yeah. Next up, Mrs. Kasha Davis. I don't know why, but I want to just start calling calling her Mrs. Kashi Goline. Oh my God! Like the the, the cereal? I don't know why. Just, okay, just Mrs. Call. Kashi Goline. You know, I get it, but no. <laughs> In this black and white, like uh -huh. almost quilted coat or something, it had like depth to it, right? It was well, like it, the um, 
the textures and the patterns and the prints were all different, but they yeah. all went together. Like the, the dress was kind of velvety, but then the, uh, co the coat had a collar that was stripes, but then yeah. it also had this sort of Baroque, yes. rosy kind of black and white pattern. It was like a tuxedo gown, you know? Sure. Like in a, you know, in a really abstract way. In an abstract way. But yeah. it all went together and it I liked did. it. I liked it. It was fun. Yeah. It was, it was interesting. Next out, Darien Lake. <laughs> So she's got this like satiny black cape with mm -hmm. a big collar and it's, you know, like kind of witchy or something. Yeah. And she's coming out. Mm. And, but you can see the big, there's a big opening, yeah. you know, like where the, uh, and, and her, she's got a, a lacy bush and it looks strange. Yeah. And then yeah. she takes off the coat to reveal she's got some lacy tits. Yep. Yeah. And then yeah. she takes off a, an overskirt and it's a head to toe green yeah netted like green screen green not good green no. like toxic waste yep. green netted yep. bodysuit i hated this yeah, i'm sorry it wasn't um this was it got worse as the reveals continued correct you know like i think keep maybe keep the cape on <laughs> have we tried um, glasses on hair up this was such a bummer for me because i feel like she's looked so beautiful throughout the season yeah and to end on this i was like oh no girl what happened <laughs> But that's fine, you know, it happens. So then next, James Mansfield in this orange showgirl look. I thought this was gorgeous. Yes. The headpiece was stunning. She was expansive. Yeah, 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 yeah. And this was a different silhouette for yep. James, a different, uh, you know, style, look, the yeah. whole thing, you the know. The orange gown also really looked expensive and like well tailored and, and the- She was snatched. Yeah, the snatch, the silhouette was there. Yeah. I was like, yes, bitch, work. It was I, I, glamour by way of showgirl, which is rare. I don't know, I feel like showgirl is usually tackier. You told them you could do glamour and you were high fashion. So do you feel that you deliver that today? Not glamour. You'll never be glamour. glamour. I will never look like that. True. You'll never be glamour. Next out, our showgirl of the season, yeah. Mrs. Kahana. <laughs> I almost said Mrs. Kashi Goleen. No, again? No, they can't all be April. No. Kahana. <laughs> Miss Kahana. In this really interesting, yeah. um, she also, is, there was a lot of opera capes. Uh, she's also in a floor length big uh, overcoat cape yep. and there's sunflowers and it's white and it's sparkling and there's a headpiece involved and you're like yes what this is happy this is different this is yeah. I like it and then she took it off to reveal what I thought was like a little bit of a crapped up few too many if it had just been the sunflowers but there was like a red and well she had a heart because she heart. was talking about how her ancestry and that was what informed it the was outfit and the cape and they were all core to her heart and it was all very nice but it was just like maybe just the heart then and have or a simpler the, outfit so there was a few too many but then when she turned around it was just a nude you yeah. know back i was yeah. like yes Ooh, oh yeah. wait okay now i'm into it so i really liked this really it was certainly one it. of the most interesting and beautiful i think a little more simplicity would just have helped a few a few less things on the front but yeah. i really liked I it i liked it a lot so then next miss la la re in this red tuli very full full, full ruffles yes ruffled tulle yep. uh skirt and the red finger wave yeah finger wig this is beautiful finger wave finger wave finger curls I think I like her in a bigger wig, mm. just like for her facial sure. structure. Sure, sure. But overall, I still really like this a lot. I mm -hmm. thought she looked beautiful. She sells the garment. Always. Like, this is not my favorite gown of the night. No. But I'm still like, yes, yes. la la yeah. You know, so. Yeah, yeah. She came out and I was like, oh, you are stunning, bitch. Yeah. It's an inner glow? Absolutely. She, she glows outwardly. Then next out. Alexis Michelle yeah. in this perfection. I mean, this satin red gown yeah. with the the lines yes. of it. And yes. the, this is how you used exposed tool, you yeah. know? And it was the whole palette. And just like, I think it was her first episode look, the kind of apricot yeah. where you were just like oh, unclockable. Bitch. I yeah. don't know. I wouldn't yeah. change a, a, a thread. Thing, yeah. I would not change a stitch. No. This was the same where I was like, fuck. Yeah. She's this, had some really spectacular looks mm -hmm. this season. This was... Fantastic. Yeah. The entire palette, the wig, the every little everything. Next up, 
Miss Jessica Wilde. And this was also really great. She's in this pink gown, which was a little bit of a different look for her. She has her mm -hmm. glitter purple lips. Yep, yep. I it's, thought she just looked gorgeous. It fit oh. to a T. Yes, and I loved the lining, the like the kind ir of iridescent, iridescent lining. purple like, satiny lining. It gave it more lining. dimension. It really did. Yeah. It was a really nice touch. I like this a lot. So then next out, Jimbo the artist <laughs> uh, in this demon clown candy corn wig. Yeah. Uh, really, I was really into the Really wig. into the swirl, wig. Swirl, you know, it was like two ice cream cone swirls. Yep. Was into it. Mm -hmm. Was into it. And then the sort of really graphic yep. gown with the huge tits. Yep. And but, but yet the fit was nice and right. The fit right. was great. And it was like acid punk, you know, I don't know. It was cool. And then last was Candy Muse in this Tweety Bird couture. This. The more I looked at it, the, the less, less I, I liked, liked it. it. Um, it was a really nice yellow. Yeah. I uh, could not fathom the halter top. The like jeweled halter it straps. It really ruined the line of the, you know, pointed uh, yeah. strapless boobs. Yeah. And then where the waist hit um, was, you know, not the most ideal. Well, but she had the, like, the feathery poof was like... That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it yeah, was, yeah. The waist was, in, was, was up here. It was in the wrong spot. Yeah, yeah. It was like a an empire dress. Yeah, yeah. You know, an uh, empire uh, waist, Tweety but, Bird. Yeah. You know, with, the, with the feathers and but, stuff. No. It was, it was, you know. It wasn't like, oh, God. It was God, fun girl, and but... happy, but it didn't quite. The, I really couldn't get past the halter. Yeah. I get um, that. I get that. I, I just really, it was like it, something it, happened it and she just had to add something to keep the it The lines. Up. It just it was like, oh, no. <laughs> uh, so uh, they send everyone back and they're deliberating. And I mean, in the shadiest. Um, I was not expecting this. No. I wrote deceased. She's the artist of the two. Deceased? Yes. Carson just, you know, goes, well, we know that Jimbo's the, the artist of the two. I, I just, I, wow. Wow. Fuck my drag, right? I just, I, wow. Yeah. I, yeah. That, that is. Uh-huh. Yeah. Perhaps one of the rudest, most dismissive things ever said on this yeah. runway. Yeah. Just because it's like... Uh-huh. Wow. Mm. Yeah. And I know what he means. Yeah. Yeah. Like... I don't think it was as pointed as it came off. No. But wow. But, but wow. <laughs> <laughs> they bring everyone back out yeah. and... Um, Somewhat anti-ceremoniously. Very. Not really Anticlimactically and un unceremoniously. Un there we go. That's the word. Unceremoniously. Yeah. Um, the winner of the fame games is La La Rie. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, great. Uh, I guess our votes didn't matter at all. At, at all. So don't give us a vote then. D Just don't give it to us. Right. Because it's bullshit. It, it, this is bullshit. Later this season. I'm done. This is some bullshit. This is bull. It's the end of the season. The end of the season. This bullshit. is bullshit. Bull. Because it's like clearly they filmed this a long time ago. Yeah. And they never cared about the voting at all. No. I don't even know how it worked because there was so little time to vote that I never even got to go to the website. No, there's 48 hours to vote because it was already decided. But anyway, yeah. the final lip sync. You know what I just realized? I'm so sorry. Uh, they don't have the statues of Rue anymore, did they? No. Did they have them? Right, They didn't have them at the end being like, yeah. I have my statue of Rue that I get to keep home and it's my participation trophy. Well, that's trophy. for regular seasons. Oh. Right? So all stars, you don't get one because you already have one? Potentially. Shouldn't it be like even more fabulous? Shouldn't it a be gold like a... Gold-plated. Yeah. Paul. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. I love that you know exactly. Those creepy teeth, absolutely. I don't even have to. No. <laughs> it's just it's like, right, it's like right there. <laughs> yep. But anyway, the final, final lip sync, sync. Uh, to Don't Funk It Up. Nope. Do You Wanna Funk. Do You Wanna Funk uh, by Sylvester and... Someone else that I forgot the Tweety name Bird. No. And <laughs> Jimbo and Candy walk out. Jimbo looks like Trixie Mattel inflated herself yep. with helium. Yep. And Candy is giving uh, Willow Pill, David Byrne, Stop Making Sense, you know, big... Uh, Triangle, silver... Uh, silver suit jacket. See a wig, almost. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm into this. This is weird. Yeah. Oh, once again, I mean, we'll, 
Well, we can talk about it right now. Yeah. I thought the reveal was less exciting than the... What was the reveal? She she took off her opera cape. There was right. a lot of opera capes. Uh, to reveal like a, you know, cut out... Body suits. Body suit. Oh, yeah, sure, sure. But like, you know, what right. it, Willow Wait. Pill was... It's just, just pants. pants. You know, yeah. like, just, just pants. pants. It's just pants. <laughs> I want, like, what if she had just been, like, somehow just been wearing a tie? Like, oh, she's just... Sure. Right? Or yeah, something? a piano key necktie. I invented it! You have to have the Mukatu wig, then. Oh, my God. Yes. Yes. So, uh, Jimbo... Uh, Prop queen. Jimbo was, was had every gimmick, and Candy was the dancer. Mm -hmm. And Jimbo pulls a, a phone out of her sleeve. Yep. Uh, it was, like, a velvet umbilical cord. Yeah. Then she revealed her big old titties then, then she revealed ass that said funk ass that said funk on it and then there was one more she had a microphone yep that she became a confetti gun pulling stuff out of every orifice she needed to turn it out after yeah the, she knew you know, she lip knew yeah. yeah she's like i can't bomb this lip sync because i have to still win this they season. have to justify me winning exactly i mean rue did specifically say and their performance all season this Obvious. lip sync was mediocre yeah i thought candy did a better job i thought she had some fun little dance moments she had some good dancing but overall it was just kind of low energy for me yeah. it wasn't great no and it wasn't fun like at the beginning of this episode lala and james were talking about oh my god that lip sync was so fun right. we had such a camaraderie oh it was so fun playing with yeah. you and performing together yeah. in this joyous fun lip sync and it shows. and you feel that yeah and this wasn't competitive it wasn't cutthroat it wasn't fabulous it, was it wasn't just a kind of going through the motions it was again okay yeah and they've been preparing with this song and all of a sudden this producer her name is mandy um she comes up to jimbo and candy and says hey ladies we're gonna change the final song it's gonna be milkshake she saw the music that jimbo had turned in and that she turned in J uh milkshake as one of her songs so candy says she has something in her hand, she throws it down, she gets, call my mother, call my mother right now, screaming at the top of her lungs to call her mom. She was going home, fuck the show, fuck everyone. You want, you want to crown Jimbo, then you fucking crown Jimbo, but you ain't going to have a finale, fuck you, and da da da. She goes off. You're no longer going to have a final episode. You've already sent Jessica home. You've recorded the final production. It's not like you can say, all right, well, Jessica, step in and we'll have you do that. No, everything's done. At this point right now, you have no choice but to lead the song. Mandy comes back, she says, she said, oh, I jumped the gun. I made a mistake, I'm sorry, I don't know. And came up with this excuse that she made a mistake or something that that's not what they were trying to do, blah, 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 blah. But. <laughs> This just seems so blah. And so unceremonious again, where Rue's just like, and the winner receives blah, blah, blah. But, uh, like we have to listen to it all over again. And then it was just like, oh, okay, Jimbo wins. Oh, great. Shocked. Jimbo. <laughs> yeah, so Jimbo wins. Yeah. I do think that uh, she was great. And, yes. you know, I don't think she was undeserving of no. the win. I just wish that they had told this story in a way that made me more excited. Absolutely. And I wish they had let them be more creatively involved yep. in the performances of this finale yeah. and all of the above. But we got some fabulous looks. Lala was there. James was there. Darren, you know, offered that we could smack her tits around. No, she was no, stuck on her tits. Yeah, yeah. Kiss you her can tits. touch my titties. You can touch my titties. My NFTs. Oh my God, love it. There were a lot of fun moments in the season of the Queens. Yeah. I feel like production really hindered those moments rather and than heightened. And I still do. Heightened. I'll, I keep, I'll have moments where I just go, oh, Heidi. No. Oh, but... Heidi, you know? Um, yeah. I'm sad. Yeah. Especially because they just kind of erased her. It, it, they erased her. It was wild because I was going, oh, are they? we don't get to see her talent show. No. You know? uh, we don't get to see any of her fame game looks. Did she post on her Instagram her looks? Uh, you had to go to her Patreon. That's right. Good for her. Good for Good her. Good for you, bitch. Yeah. But I was like, oh. And she's not even there for like a reunion situation. Where, right. You know, we get to have some kind of fun... Denouement. Anything? Anything. Nothing. She doesn't exist. She's gone. Right. And I was like, oh, that bums me out. It's toxic. Yeah. <laughs> but I will say. Yes. Kahana. Yeah. Seemed to be having a great time. Yes. Was in a really good place. Yes. The competition's over. I'm having fun. Yeah. And I was like, oh, she let go. Yeah. This is fabulous. Yeah. Gotta put on my pheromone spray, honey. Captivating. <laughs> I, I, I need to do that too. <laughs>
and just don't um, drink it. Yeah. yeah. I think, unfortunately, Jessica, it was still a little too soon, mm. too close. Because it was probably the next day. Well, right, honestly. honestly. And also, there was really no reason for her not to have been in the finale. They could have easily just been like, we're not picking a lipstick. You all three get to the, like, who cares? Right. Why not let her perform a fun song? That would have been fun. Yeah. Give me a great Jessica song. I would have liked that. Yeah. No reason not to. No reason It was not rude. To. Yeah. It was really rude. Yeah. So, bummer. That was weird for me. But, cheers to Jimbo. Yeah. And the whole season. Yep. And we did it. We did it. We did it, y'all. <laughs> cheers. We'll see you for season five. I'm not joking, bitch.